All right, welcome back, folks, to another Discord League cast. We have a uh, top eight match between uh, Noman, uh, aka Byron Crane, and Sir Largeness, uh, also known as Frotop. And so we have a Scorpion vs. Scorpion matchup here, and we've seen these players list before as as their matches have been cast. But uh, in a, in a mirror match, from what I've what I found out talking to other Scorpion players, the uh, Dragon Splash is favored over Crab Splash. Yeah, I think. Well, just from just, this is just the opinion of other Scorpion players from playing the from playing the mirror. They they feel that that uh, Dragon Splash has the advantage. Yeah, I think the um. I can see that. I think Miramoto's is probably more relevant than the Crab Splash cards in this situation. Uh, the, um, the the Crab attachments also make Let Goes and Calling in Favors less dead. I still think putting Let Goes in a Scorpion deck is a mistake, but. I think the the Pathfinder's Blade is no relevant. You know, it's mostly for clans that have a bit better provinces, in particular Dragon and Lion. Well, it's, it's mostly clans that have more, like, provinces that are less static, right? Like, Pilgrimage, Meditations, you don't really want to PFB those. Um, and then Pathfinder's Seeker Cache isn't that great, but, like, it's like the Death Provinces, like Feast or Famine or Art of War, stuff like that, where uh, the Pathfinder's Blade can be really impactful. Yeah. Uh, like like Pathfinder playing against Pilgrimage it just doesn't do anything right like so it's pretty awkward. Yeah. So yeah, that's not what you want to see. Yeah, yeah. So we see Chris's Mono no RA no buff deck, and then we see Noman taking um, a more proactive approach. But Noman's approach to the ma uh, to playing the deck though is still Core Scorpion, where he's still playing control. He just has more tools to be proactive. Uh, the Singleton Watch Commander might be might be relevant. Oops. Uh, there. All right. So we have the match starting here. Looks like Noman won the die roll. Well, let's see what's going to happen next. Looks like just... Scorpion versus Scorpion here. A little unfortunate, uh, but you can't really avoid mirror matches without messing up the seating in other ways. Especially especially when your clan is so popular. Yeah. Uh, I actually don't find the, the Scorpion mirror to be that boring. Um, it. The Scorpion mirror is pretty interesting. I think the worst mirror... What do you think the worst mirror is? Lion or crane, maybe? Yeah, I think it's crane. Like Because the whole honored character and imperial favor thing usually means that, like, one deck is on and one deck is off. Yeah. Not very interesting. Lion's pretty abysmal, too. Like, if one person high rolls, like, it just, it just, just becomes a non-game. Yeah, with lion, it's also weird because both decks can attack much better than they can defend. So it's, like, it's sometimes just... Trading. And they don't have that many ways to stop things or, like, to, to disrupt your opponent from doing their thing. So, like, if one person just gets, like, a charge to Turi for good or glory play, it just never, it can't be stopped, really. Like, there's no, like, they don't play policy debate, really, and they don't have cancels. So, we see Noman buying out two characters. We see, so, we see Chris doing his usual, just he, he bought one character and passed, and then we see Noman buying heavily out of Dynasty here. Chris is going to attack first. Interesting. Uh, I see most people passing their first conflict opportunity as first player. I, I rarely see people attack first now. Hit Seeker Cash. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 
forcing water, like forcing mill water. That that's reasonable. You can mill water and then basically f uh, threaten the bow. He only has one fate now, Luke. Though, but like, if you're blindly attacking, like, what if you hit pilgrimage here? Like the attack, like, like it just gives your opponent a fate, and the attack doesn't do anything. I don't know. I guess I guess you have to uncover them at some point. But yeah. we see a policy debate coming out here from Nelman. So I wonder, I wonder if uh, Sir Largeness will bid will bid five, just to not have the box be turned on. Wow. That was really bad by Nelman. I'm surprised that he didn't bid to win there. Uh. I, I I don't know I don't know what it is, but I feel like people don't play their bid bid uh, aggressively enough with policy debates. Maybe I I'm wrong in, in that I bid too aggressively, but. So wait, he bid two. He went to that six. Would take him to five to six. He was up by one, right? So he has to bid five. He has to bid five, because if he bids four, then he ties on a five. Okay, well, that didn't go so good. On the other hand, Largeness is getting low on... I think losing a policy debate where your character has more skill is usually quite bad, but we do see Largeness going low on Honor. On the other hand, because of the Scorpion Stronghold, it's less so than you might think. And it looks like Largeness chooses to remove a Forged Edict. Yeah, that's camp. that's reasonable, right? If you're just trying to... You're fighting over big events a lot of the time. Noman does have a watch commander in hand. It's possible that he's intentionally going to try to play for the dishonor here. It it's so hard though, right? Like another thing is if you bid if you if you bid low, then your opponent's box gets turned on where it otherwise wouldn't have been. So like I'm not sure Forged Edict been my pick. I wonder if he has some big event. That he probably has fate worse than death, this. right? Like you just fate worse than death the uh, the heroi. Yeah, so he could bow the liar and then fate worse than death heroi. That's not. Yeah, and so we see we see Chris winning the conflict. Bows the liar. We, we do know that Noman has a Karuma skirmisher in hand. Oh, that's so cool. Will... So you could skirm you could skirmisher first, right, and then poke. Yeah, that would allow it to be safer from a fate worse than death. You could do like skirmisher into the Earth Ring, for instance. Skirmisher, um, Earth, Void, or Air are all good, I think. Yeah, a lot of options. Looks like he's gonna he's he's gonna bring out the skirmisher. The question now is just what ring he'll be going for. I could see Earth, right? So you could try and high roll, and if you Earth and make them discard the Fate Worse than Death, that's pretty. That's pretty insane. Yeah. It's pilgrimage though, so that's not happening. We did. We did see the Earth ring though. So, I Chris is probably just going to take the unopposed here. Um, it is another honor loss though, so we'll see. I don't think you want to spend a Mirror Moto Sphere here though. Oh, so we just see a way of the scorpion. That works. Way, way, way of the scorpion actually being dead in this matchup, minus the two conflict characters out of uh, Nomen, the two skirmishers. So way of the scorpion coming in clutch here, actually being playable and doing doing something. Yeah, way of the scorpion usually does not do anything at all in this matchup, but against Haruma skirmisher, it's actually quite good since it takes him down to zero. I'm. I feel like. I feel like. Uh, Chris is pretty happy to have a use for that card, having no knees ready. Yeah. So we see Noman poking again. Hits Seeker Cash now. Oh, that's painful. Really unlucky. He. Ideally, I think he wants to hit uh, Shameful Display there to de to deny the Seeker fate. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. It's to actually see pretty, It's actually really aggressive to do this, right? Because if you if you hit uh, Meditations also, that's. Yeah. If you hit meditations I, into fate worse than death, you just you just get uh tra you tra you get traded uh four fate for six. Yeah, I, and I do think that largeness's play is signaling fate worse than death here. If not, largeness might be in big trouble though. I can only imagine he has it. Um, especially after after po poking five more cards deep, right? I think he wouldn't have discarded a copy of Forged Edict, which was it, it not, could also like, just be Fury, thing. Fury Luke. Um, but I think yeah, Fury, Fury is still Fury is still on the table. Still Either one is fine, right? Like it does just he could honestly have both, and it just depends on what he wants to do. He has three of each card, right? So we see a Court Games to Dishonor. <laughs> hooks he hooks in the Illusionist with the Hero's ability. <laughs> Interesting that he plays the court games here. Maybe he doesn't have a, a Fury or a... 
Maybe he just wants to court games it now while he's just, while it's so. Maybe he's he he could. Yeah, man. He could be doing it uh, for future trends. So we see no one play court games now. I think we saw no man with two court games in hand, so it's not too surprising. No, he only had one. He had two centers, so it's not too surprising. Man, those centers are going to be really awkward for a little bit. Yeah, that's actually another reason that it might have been better to just stand there with Heroi. Take the Imperial Favor with two centers in hand. That's yeah, that's strong. probably better, right? Like, I, I, I could see that being a lot better. But if, if Largeness indeed doesn't have a Fate Worse Than Death, and... Yep, there it is. Fate worse than death. So I, I do think this was interesting a, that he decides to play the court games. By Noman. Yeah, I don't understand that. Um, maybe maybe he knew that Noman would play his own court games in response. Yeah, maybe you're just you're just thinning the number of court games out. I don't know. What, yeah, what, like what if your opponent just passes and doesn't play the court games? Like then you're in a really awkward position of your fate worse than death doing a lot worse. Yeah, I think I would have stood for the favor though. I agree. You just you just stand heroic there and you grab favor with double center in hand. I don't even think it's one level deeper, Luke. It's literally just both players discard discard the same card. I don't I don't understand how that's one level deeper. It just it just makes both players play core games. I mean it, it also could lead to the fact of your opponent not playing core games. Like in that in that position there, if you just don't play court games and you take the the conflict one for the Earth Ring, you dishonor the Illusionist and you just take the Earth Ring. I mean, I think I would have just passed. Yeah, I do think that the. Um, I do think that it would have been better for Noman to stand back with Hera in this situation. Yeah, Luke. Luke I, it, so if if I'm making the attack and I get dishonored by a court games, I I don't care, right? Like I just I just I'm like okay, whatever, and I win the ring for the Earth Ring. That I would be fine with that. And then if uh, they just fate worse than death me, I knew they like I knew they had it right. But again, I would have stood for I would have stood for favor. I think you're I think you're reading. Yeah, I, I don't know, Luke. I think I feel like you're reading a little bit too much into the situation. Maybe I, I may, may, maybe yeah sure. <laughs> like I was like Kingsley and I both called fate worse than death pretty pretty easily. No, I think uh, I actually think. Yeah, I mean, I do think it's quite possible that it was like an intentional plan to drive the card games from Nomen. But but like, I think but like, what Nomen purpose does that serve just... you for doing it now, right? Where you... like you're up on cards, so like if you trade one for one while you're up, that's quite favorable. Yeah, right? yeah but you're trading. It's anymore. not like you're trading a worse card for for a better card, right? Like you, you're still it's still the same number. It's you're still up that same number of cards, and you both just discarded th the same card. I think as a general principle. If you're up, you want to trade as often as possible, even if it's just the same thing for the same thing. That's fair. And if you're down, you want to avoid trades if possible. Mm. That's just my... But but he's not that far up. And in fact, we're now seeing that thanks to that Bayushi Liar and a Bayushi Manipulator coming out for Nomad, now lost the card advantage. He has a Chisora Actress, which I Well, he's, don't... he's minus two cards right now because he has double center in his hand. Oh, yeah, good point. So really more even. So, Chisora Actress here, I guess you copy Bayushi Liar, that's not terrible. Yeah, taking Liar is pretty sick, right? Or you can, you can copy Black Mall Artist too if you want to, if you want to grab a, uh, an Ooh, honor. there's Shameful Display. A little... A little less bad than it could be with Nomen running into it with his Yogo Heroi. The real question is... So the real question is why, why Nomen chose to re-honor. Like I think I would have passed there and not gone for not not attempted to break and just got gotten a free card, but I guess maybe maybe you want to play it a more aggressively. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's also the thing where if he doesn't have a fate worse than death, then you get like really good results. But I think you kind of have to assume he has it. And in fact, I don't know. I said this before, but I would have assumed that he had it to the degree that I wouldn't have attacked. Yeah, um, sure, sure. But if you if you decide that you want to attack to scout, maybe uncover shameful to um. To Noman has a fate, fate worse than death himself, isn't that right? Noman does have a fate worse than death right now. Okay, so we see court game. So Sinister Soshi again play the players trade court game, and yeah, Noman then fan. breaks out an ornate fan. It's a little unfortunate to have to play an ornate fan on a character with no fate, but it's still two strength. For so zero. Noman has two fans as his only political buffs outside of court games. Chris does not have any buffs whatsoever. I do think not playing fan is a little bad, just because the political buffs are rare and quite valuable. So now we see let go, let go being useful now. 
whereas otherwise it wouldn't be. I guess uh, I guess if Noman's gonna lose this, he can just pull in pull in the illusionist. Mm -hmm. So at least Noman knows the full layout of the row now, and he can he can make more informed attacks going forward. Mm. I think obviously he was well, interesting. He uses Heroi to move Manipulator into the conflict. Huh. There's just the Earth Ring. Oh, so we see an assassination on the Manipulator. And so Chris sinks even lower in honor. He, the box is turned on again, so he's going to steal one. Yeah, I think this I think this play right now just stems from the fact that that Noman didn't bid aggressively enough on the policy debate. Cuz if he obviously being Yeah, that's a very good right, point. Like he, he would have seen nine nine of these nine of these cards. And he would have been able to to discard one and he still would have had his edict, right? Like Yeah, exactly. The honor, the honor totals are, are pretty much even after the after the, everything is settled, right? Like the honor that that he gained is a moot point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I honestly think bidding five there with Nemo would have been very strong. We don't even need to bid five, right? You you had oh no, yeah, yeah, you you were up by one, yeah, you had to bid yeah, five. Yeah, he's only up by one. He could have bid four and then guaranteed a non-loss. But bidding five. Yeah, but at that point, there's just no reason not to bid five. Okay, so what are we seeing here? Seeker of Void gains a fate from Pilgrimage. Uh, that's that's pretty lucky for Noman. He can just sit there. Oh, charge Yanako, strength five. Does Noman have an answer, or is he going to lose Pilgrimage? I do think Noman is quite on the back foot at this phase. Um, he has he has double Yojimbo in his hand. Uh, playing Yojimbo for defense is well. It doesn't even work wrong. against Yunako either. Yunako can swap the actress or the Yojimbo. Ah, uh, good point. Yeah, so that Yunako is actually representing an additional two strength conflict. Oh, so if he does play Yojimbo, that would actually be a huge error. He could fate worse enough. He could fate worse enough the actress, knowing that Chris has no more buffs. It's such a bad situation to play fate worse than death. It is, but it's also pretty bad to lose pilgrimage for a charge. This is really one of those scenarios where the dragon splash, you know, if you have access to, you know, we know he has a watch commander in hand. You know, if that watch commander were a copy of Miramoto's Fury instead, this would be looking a lot more favorable. Yeah. So then, so then you can just Fury a guy. I mean, so the line is if you fate worse than that, the actress, you make Chris have another conflict character. Um, Ooh, wow. So he. The Earth Ring resolves, and he loses a copy of Bayushi Kachiko. That is his only copy. That's that is. I do think One X Kachiko is better than running uh, a bunch of copies of her. But I think that in this situation, it would have been great to have her to defend this political conflict. So I think three is incorrect, and I don't see any Scorpions running three anymore. Um, so I I, I think I think one is correct, and the only reason that I, I've talked to Chris about his deck, he said the only reason he runs two is because Kachiko is one of his main ways to get breaks. So if he tries to win win via conquest, he just wants that card, and he just wants to see at least one copy of her. So he just has the second one to increase the odds. Yeah, that's fair. Playing dupes from hand is really bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're seeing the associate illusionist mounting an attack. That'll be the political conflict, and without that Kachiko, if he hits shameful display he... here, he can th he can threaten a break. Yeah, and without that, oh no, he can threaten a break anywhere because the actress can get a oh liar, liar. yeah, meditations. So that's going to be unimpactful wow, that's for Noman. That's really strong. So I suspect well, he's breaking um, right now. He's he has political favor. Oh yeah, uh, I think he still wants to do the liar just to get a free card. We'll yeah, I, I would do, do so. 
You could get a blackmail artist also if you wanted, but it's not as strong. Blackmail artist, yeah. Blackmail artist would steal an honor, but Noman would steal it back. I guess it would make Noman minus one on net because he is going to lose one. He, no, he, yeah, you just grab the liar to grab the card. Yeah, liar is better. I'd rather the card. So. Yeah, no one passes. So no one has nine cards in hand, two of which are sent, or eleven cards, two of very, which are sent. Very, very unlucky for no one to lose the Kachiko there, because I think with that Kachiko he can easily defend this. Can he though? Chris could just very easily have another fate worse than death. He has five fate right now. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't seen that many cards. I guess he has such a secret cash trigger. Uh, we see City at the open. Well, so Chris, Chris, Chris challenged air, so the air ring just turned the turned the uh, the box on for Noman. Noman goes down to five now from the dishonor character leaving. Chris is going to get the box would have been enabled anyway for from unopposed. No, it would have been even. It would have been seven to seven. It already was seven to seven. I thought. Uh, yeah, it was seven seven, and then it went to six seven, and and, uh, six, and then it went to five eight, and then he used it and went to six seven, and then he went down to five seven because he lost it. Okay. Seven seven six seven. Five eight from the ring. No 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 five five is oh yeah 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 five eight from the ring and then box okay. Yeah. Box and then dishonor character leaving. Yep, you're you're right you're right. All right, so Noman I think is in big trouble here. Uh, he does have, so the main advantage that you might think he has would be the card advantage. Both players have a huge amount of fate. The problem with Noman's card advantage is that two of those cards are censures, which he can't play. Yeah, this is where standing for the standing for the favor is so much better on turn one, where especially when you have the double censure, right? It's different. It's different than if you don't stand for the favor and then get punished by drawing them. But when you have them, you can just play 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 towards your strength, right? Having these free counter spells in your hand that don't require the dishonor status on your characters is huge. It looks like several commenters are saying that Noman would have pre-played his Kachiko. Prior to the resolution of the Earth Ring, it's a one in twelve, but it's still obviously something you have to consider. Yeah. So we see Rumormonger and Shoju. We see Nis for Chris here. He still has that illusionist. Uh, Chris does have two copies of Cloud the Mind, so Cloud the Mind and Shoju would be pretty strong. Uh, sh oh, and then we see we see no one buy the manipulator. I wonder what people are gonna bid here. I w do you, do you flip the switch here if you're Chris and go one? Uh, I personally think that you could you could put a lot of pressure on. Right. The one problem is that uh, Shoju is really really strong. The question is whether or not Largeness has. Another fate worse than death. So if we he... see, so we see the one-up game happen here. So N Noman assumes one from Chris, bids two. Chris assumes two from Noman and bids three, but then the manipulator brings it back to three to three. Interesting. Right, like so that was... both players are jockeying um, for for a position to use their box. Yes, yeah, so that was probably a little favorable for Noman, but I do think there's a fair chance that Largeness will be able to activate his own box later in the turn. I can see that. Um, in particular, if there's a conflict that Largeness doesn't care about, he can just choose to not defend, take the one honor hit from UO, and then that enables the box. Yeah. So. Though it doesn't increase your honor, it does decrease the opponent's honor. We see an attack here at Shameful Display. In most games, the net amount of honor in the system goes down. Yeah, I, I would agree. Um, maybe not in the Crane Mirror, but that might be the only one. Just because there's so yeah, many so honored Crane... characters leaving play. Rain, Phoenix, sometimes Lion, uh, all have a bunch of ways to honor guys and have that occur. Additionally, if people are resolving air rings for two honor, it increases the honor in the system. Yeah. Okay, so now we're seeing Seeker of Void gaining the yeah, fate from, from Shameful Angel Display. Display. He just doesn't want to attack Seeker Cash. Looks like he's defending with his Shoju. He's probably going to use Shameful first. Oh no, he's going to go for the policy debate. Nice. That's strong. All right, so there yeah. is the fate worse than death. There is a fate worse than death, but now no one has the opportunity to lock it down. There is a mono no aware also. A mono no aware, which could be okay. There's an if Large can resolve this void ring against Shoju and then play mono no aware, that would be a big reversal on this board, which is looking like it's getting away from Largeness a bit. Interesting that he doesn't choose to edict the policy debate. 
Yeah, that is interesting. I think I would have. So. Hmm. In so here, it's here... possible that because he only had one counter in hand, he was thinking that I'm gonna need to save the counter to counter his counter. But I don't well, here's know. here's the theory on it, right? So I'm just gonna use magic game theory. So when you have more cards in your hand, um, there's less like using a counter spell is not as relevant. You're basically countering it for to um to conceal information more so than to actually counter the effect. When you have yeah. less cards in your hand, or when the counter spell is one of your like only two cards in hand, you obviously want to counter because you're just you, like then your cards mean more. But when you know Chris has twelve cards, like what, what's he gonna take? Right, he's not gonna take Forge Edict. Probably he'll take the he'll take the Fate Worse Than Death. So right. basically, you just want to say, are am I gonna counter this to conceal information? Wait, do you see the young rumor monger fire in here? Mm. Um, yeah, there are two copies of Cloud the Mind in Largeness's hand, and he does have a Sinister Soshi out. That's a strong play with Shameful Display with that young rumor monger. Uh, favored niece is really vulnerable to being dishonored. All right, so that was a very, very favorable conflict for Noman. He he managed to land his policy debate. He removed the fate worse than death, largest and so he, has he to... and he dishonored he dishonored uh, the niece. He honored Shoju and he gained a fate. So we know that we know that uh, Chris does not have any buffs. So he actually has no way to make this niece relevant. Yeah, that's an unfortunate. Yeah, does, that's an does unfortunate Chris, point Chris that had a conflict character, zero, though, right? He had he had his double yo jimbo. He has two unassuming yo jimbo. I will say um, there and is Adam one the aspect shadows. in which the niece is quite relevant, and that is that it can stand for two glory for the imperial favor. Uh, it's quite possible that without that, we would see the imperial favor turning against largeness this turn. Well, so but I think that the niece standing there will help him substantially. Chris has three conflict characters. He's got Adept, Double Yojimbo, and then he has a Way of the Scorpion he can cycle with this niece. Mm, good point, yeah. So you should, while, you should definitely cycle that Way of the Scorpion. While that attack was meet, was you know turned out you know very favorable for Noman, uh, I still think Chris is in a very strong spot. Oh, you know, Largest actually has four conflict characters. He has a Cunning Magistrate as Oh, well. does he? I did not see... Yep. And in some respects, oh, yeah, you can it. even say that he has five because he actually has to charge. Oh, that's one other aspect. <coughs> that's one other aspect in which the um, the favored niece could be relevant. You could use it to initiate a military conflict and then charge because you do have to start the conflict before. you Oh, can sure, play right. You just charge room longer. Yeah, that's possible. So we see a military attack here, or sorry, political attack here. Um, firing, just snagging the two fade off the fire at the firing. So both players got two fade off of rings. So no, uh, Chris doesn't defend and then uses niece to discard way of the scorpion. I like doing I like doing that in in the main um, not main phase um in pre conflict where then you have the most information to determine your blocks. Discards mono no ra. Like I like doing, I like activating my niece uh, before attacks have, have been made, so that way I have the most information. What do you think about that? Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I think information control is an underrated part of this game. <laughs> I think honestly, niece is. I I don't know how many copies of niece are these players playing. Um. I don't know about Noman, but I know the Dragon Slashes are mostly on three. Yeah, I would be on three. Noman's on, Noman's on three, and Chris is on three. Yeah, not only is... Because, I mean, it's like you are saying, like the value of information in this game is high. So Noman can be... Or, sorry, I said Noman. So, um, Nice can be used in a large number of relevant circumstances. Not just like, oh, I have a dead card, but also like, oh, my opponent landed a policy debate. There's a lot of of situations where niece can be. Yeah, sure. Then you turn two two. You can turn known cards into unknown cards. Yeah, exactly. And even if they're cards that are okay, it's like you know this card has like an average utility in this situation. I'm gonna draw another card from my deck that will have about the same utility on average. And then furthermore, I'm going to get to uh, conceal. You know, in doing that, I'm gonna get to conceal information. Yeah. So we see we see the Soshi being used to make the liar a zero, so he doesn't claim anything. Um, no one just grabbed the fate. We see Yojimbo coming out. It's going to covert this room longer. We know that Noman has his own. We can see fate or fate worse than death here. 
You can see fate worse than death on that. Yojimbo would be strong. Well, you just do fate worse than death, and then you could ch challenge an Earth Ring, maybe. We do know that Largeness has an edict that he could use, but he only has one edict. So if Nomen has an edict of his own, he could shut this down. Yeah. I think you. So the only reason. I... Oh. Uh, a fate worse than death will not actually stop charge. the challenge, though, because we know Largeness has charge. Yeah. However, if Nomen is just rolling in counters, he could have fate worse than death and then counter the charge. But the, even then, Largeness could simply play his second unassuming Yojimbo. I think it's quite likely that... Well, mm -hmm. Nomen is playing Bonsai, right? Yeah. yeah, Nomen doesn't have a character who can defend Wait, though. no, he has double Yojimbo in his hand. No, that, I thought it was Largeness who had double No, Nomen, Nomen also has double Yojimbo. Oh, so you can counter with your own Yojimbo? That's not terrible. So you just play Yojimbo, and then if you have Bonsai, you can Bonsai, and you'll win the conflict because Chris does not have any conflict characters. Or, sorry, yeah, any any, any, any buffs. Yeah, I, Chris's lack of buffs may get him into trouble here. We'll see. So we see Yojimbo 2 fate from Nomen here. It was smart for Chris to go for the Water Ring here, because the Water Ring would be very strong for Nomen. Yeah, he can attempt attack. to stand Shoju to win favor. Although, if Chris wins, or I mean, if no one wins this conflict, he can just not declare an attack, stand, and okay. he'll take favor. Yeah, good point. I would probably do that if I if I if I win this conflict. So there's the charge. Not surprised. Uh, this does turn okay, on for so, shame now. Yeah, and we are at the breaking point here. So this turns so. on for shame, and we see. Um, and the rumor monger, if if he decides to dishonor his Yojimbo, the rumor monger can move it over to somebody else. Yeah, probably showed you in that case. Uh, you could dishonor the other, um, you could dishonor Nomen's, Nomen's Remonger. It's unlikely, but that is another line. You could also dishonor Manipulator to increase honor pressure. Yeah, that's fair. I'm not sure that's how this game is going to be decided. I would agree. Or if it Does is, he have a for shame? He didn't have a for shame, right? Like, he would have had to cycle into it? He did cycle two cards? Yeah, it's hard to yeah, say. Yeah, he doesn't exactly. have one, right? So... He would have to cycle into it. It's pretty. It, it is reasonable to cycle. So he cycled uh, at twenty cards. So it's three and twenty, and then three and nineteen. Mm. Just do some quick math here. So it's like fifteen. It's like fifteen percent, and then seventeen percent. I think. No, sorry, fifteen. Fifteen percent and sixteen percent. So, the you know. It's those are low percentages, but it, it wouldn't be unreasonable. Okay. Uh, and we're waiting on no one to play a card, so we see a forged edict happening. He goes for the bonsai, but it actually gets canceled by forged edict. Interesting. And Large just passes. Does Nomen have military? <laughs> oh, the Watch, watch commander. commander. Maybe you're supposed to. You're, is... I think you're supposed to first action Watch Commander. So you play um, Yojimbo, then he plays Charge, and then you play Watch Commander, right? I think that's what you're supposed to do. It's possible that he wanted to beat out. It's possible that he wanted to beat out the edict. Well, Chris has calling in favors. Oh, good point. Which is what we're going to see here. And so this is really yeah, so awkward. The now. So the Watch Commander will hit a. Uh, will hit one dishonor for largeness, but that's actually even a downside. He should have not triggered the, the watch commander in this scenario because able in large stronghold. Yeah. Oh, on the other hand, his next attack might well be a UO, so I suppose... I suppose that... No, he, he should do it here if he's going to attack. Okay, so now it's looking quite likely that we'll have a break. Uh, so we're we seeing see... we're seeing a calling in favors back, I think. The counter calling in favors? Yeah, because we're seeing young Rumonger being used here. Yeah, good point. So, yeah, so Large just has used his Rumonger yeah, okay. to dishonor Shoju. And Fine and favors. Watch Commander comes back over to the Nomen side. Okay, so, yeah, as I say, Nomen doesn't play the Watch Commander there if, um... If he knows it, it, the Calling Favors is there, but... Oh, yeah, because he has hand knowledge. Yeah, well, and he has pretty... He has fresh knowledge, right? He has two... He, it's two unknown cards. So, Chris can play Adaptive Shadows or a second Yojimbo to increase the conflict. Man, getting that bonsai canceled is really, really bad. I wonder if Chris will go for the break here. So we see one, so we see one fate happening. Is that a second calling in favors, maybe? It is. Yeah, calling in favors there as well. That dishonor is another honor lost. We are seeing a lot of honor leaving the overall system in this conflict. 
I think maybe if I'm Noman, I just pass. Well, well Noman has. Oh no, that's the third break though. You really don't want. to Yeah, Noman has break. more fate though, and he doesn't have any katanas. Like l getting that bonsai counter is. is re oh, yeah, you play Pathfinder's Blade. Yeah, Pathfinder's Blade does save the conflict, but Largeness can play the um. Adept. Large can counter by playing the Adept. So looking back on need... the cards that we saw uh, from Largeness's hand, it does look like Largeness drew another calling in favors with one of those Nice triggers. Yeah. So that was a little lucky. And it looks like, but it looks like that might have kind of disrupted. It might have kind of disrupted Noman's plan for this conflict. The unexpected card. Yeah. Uh, Noman could assassinate and go to, go to two honor. Well, if, uh, if Chris doesn't use the box for Soto, then the, uh, Chris, or Noman will go to two honor instead of, instead of one. So we have one, two dishonor characters leaving this turn. And then... So she's been used. Charge has been used. We could see we could see a, an air ring. And we could see a UO air ring. And then Nomin will get first player with Shoju on board to go after another air ring. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. Yay, you're right, Soto. I, I forgot I forgot yeah, yeah, I I forgot about the watch commander. That's my bad. So if Largeness steals before an assassination comes down, then then uh, Noman cannot play assassination because he'll just die to the Watch Commander. I guess you take the break here. You do you do an air conflict at. Not secret at um meditations. It sucks that you have to go to meditations, but you just do it. You get the steel, steel one, and then you're gonna have a, a you're gonna have a covert plus shoju. I don't know. Maybe maybe you can dishonor. Like if you pull a blackmail artist, for instance, I think you might just kill him. Yeah. This is this is really the. <coughs> The repeated use of calling in favors, dishonoring a bunch of characters, and then oh the sure watch sure commander. sure so so does yeah, yeah sure, sure you go fire you go fire instead of um air oh awesome potato salad six oh seven thank you for the subscription it has just subscribed to Twitch Prime thanks a lot dude I really appreciate it okay this is a <clears throat> what is happening here yeah. no weighing his option. I do think that Largest's dishonored characters are quite dangerous here because he has um he's going to go down to two fate. Oh, I think we're turn. just seeing assassination here. Noman says I hope I'm right. If he plays an assassination here, he goes to one honor himself. <laughs> High risk venture. <laughs> so she was used this turn. Uh yes. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to give that give that information. Uh, it's in the log. It's public knowledge. So yes, no. Am I allowed to say it? Oh, okay. Chris, Chris answers. Perfect. I don't. I. I would prefer not to. Like, like in a, in a what's it called? In a in a in a in a paper match, it would be on your opponent to give you that information. Yeah, I don't know what the floor rules say about that. I think in um, what? I think in Netrunner, if you ask a question like that, the opponent must answer truthfully, or they get warned. Well, it's it's just cheating, right? <laughs> um, there was a debate as to whether or not you could not. Answer. I think that I think that if you lie about the game state, that's like well, li lying wrong. about the game state is one hundred percent cheating. But yeah, I think I think also I uh, the the problem is that because it's an action, it's not um it's not like it's not derived information. So, so in, in Magic, for instance, derived information, like if a creature it has power and toughness equal to the number of lands I control, and I have seven, and my opponent asks me how big that creature is, I, I actually just don't have to tell them. It's just derived information, right? You, they have to look at my lands yeah, and count. <clears throat> Whereas... The problem with... Oh, that's interesting, because in this game, you do have to say correct numbers and so on if your opponent asks. And in fact, 
almost no one does this correctly, but technically speaking, you have to declare the conflict strength after you take any action that changes it. Oh, do you really? Uh, it's mandatory. Okay. So, uh, well, when I, when, I, when I played in paper at the Kote, since I hadn't played in paper before, I just used dice because I was used to Jigoku um, telling me. Yeah, that's a good method. T t telling me what the con So we do see the assassination, by the way. So largeness wins. Yeah, that's a very, very bold play <clears throat> from Bayushi Noman. But if he's right, he could get the kill. Yeah, so military. It should be military fire. It should be military fire. But won't he lose to Death of Shadows? Oh shit. Uh, um. No, no, no conflicts remaining. No conflicts remaining. No, won't the Adam Shadows defend the conflict and win with the military favor? Oh, hmm, you're right. Uh, he could have a Pathfinder's Blade. True. He's attacking meditations. He has to. He has to attack meditations. Yeah, I guess all the other ones are worse. Wait, he knows the opponent has the Adept of Shadows, though. This could be a huge mistake from Noman. Or it could be a game-winning play. Well, it's gonna we'll put it's to gonna put, put Chris down. It's gonna put Chris down to two. Then he can stronghold. This means he has to flip Blackmail Artist. I think he. I think Noman may have forgotten about the Adept of Shadows, and he may think that he has the game win right here. Yeah, that would be. <clears throat> that would be my assumption. No, so he has Adept of Shadows plus military favor, so he's n yeah. he's just gonna be able to defend. Yeah, so that's the thing. So if if they just didn't have another conflict character, uh, no, no, we can have a second unopposed... bonsai, like just just like a non-kicked bonsai. Oh. Yeah, good point. But I'm not sure how worth it. it would take that would take largeness down to one honor. Yeah, and then yeah, because he needs he would need to get the UO to actually win this. No, no, you, oh, you bring, no, no. So, so, so you you dishonor the Soshi, bring him to one, and then you you have first player, and you do political air with an with a covert and shoju. Oh, right, yeah, because shoju can almost certainly win the political air. So maybe this is a big play for the win next turn. Yeah, that's. I mean, th that's what I'm thinking. So Nice defends also just in case. Is a risk of the opponent like trickstering you though with he, um... oh fury. Wow. Yep. yep. So that was the other unknown card. Well. <laughs> Largeness has been incredibly lucky, just ridiculously lucky. Well, it, with is, those... is it that lucky though? So it was, it's like thirty percent to draw. It was, th it was thirty percent to draw. I, the calling in favors was lucky. The second calling in favors yeah. was definitely lucky. To draw fury, it was, th it was, it was uh, like thirty percent chance to draw to draw fury. I mean, oh, I mean, he should definitely have seen a fury by now, just given the amount of number of cards that he's seen. Yeah. But to have both the cards that you don't know be like exactly what you need in these situations. Yeah, that that like... is really unfortunate. I I will agree. Plus the Kachiko thing, but as as someone said earlier, you know, that may have been, ooh, policy, why is he policy debate here? I don't know that I like this policy debate, given that Noman already knows what's in his hand, and he can probably land another well, one. There's, with both, there's both going to bid, Chris could bid two, maybe, and, no, his body. Oh, he could, he could go for a tricky bid to try to enable his stronghold. Oh, but he's not. Add up to shadows, cloud the mind. Maybe you take, maybe you take your Jimbo here. Oh yeah, I guess a tricky bid to enable the stronghold is stupid when your opponent's at one. Yeah. Even do anything. Uh, add for shadows, cloud the mind, cloud the mind, magistrate policy debate your Jimbo. Yeah. So I guess this is gonna be let's get rid of. Yeah, 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 Zergling. I... Uh, you can't just activate the, the scorpion stronghold whenever you want. Unfortunately, your opponent being at one honor means the scorpion stronghold cannot possibly be on. Uh, otherwise, you would have have lost the game at that point. I wonder if you take here. So he could have afforded to bid two, but because of the dishonored status, it wouldn't have helped him. <laughs> he actually could have bid three, gone to one honor, uh, and then stolen back to two and gone to one on his turn. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would be so. Yeah, good. then you just die. No, you die to air. You die to air there. So yeah, never mind. This game is getting really, really low on honor. If. Uh, if there's another Watch Commander, things are No, there's crazy. only one. In it. So Watch Commander oh. being three influence is really rough on Seeker. Uh, Noman, yeah, Noman cut a Skirmisher and the um, the the one Reprieve you'll see sometimes. So he's on, what, uh, three Pathfinder's Blades, one Watch Commander, two Skirmishers? Yep, yep. That's a pretty good splash. So we do see Largen actually winning the conflict also because uh, he has military favor, and that does keep him the favor. So again, Noman has two centers in his hand, so his hand size is actually five right now. Well, 
while these players are cle are cleaning up, did you see the um the stats that were posted in the dojo about uh stats per fake cost? Uh no, what was that? Uh it was just some it was just a question that was posed and so Kaza in the dojo had posted basically just like just rough stat just rough stats. Um obviously it doesn't mean anything other than just stats and so, so is it just like dragon wins because doom shigensha is crazy yeah so so do so doom shigensha was pretty insane uh so dragons at 0.93 and 0.94 wow that's strong uh for what the heck? stats per mil or mil, mil per fate and paul per fate are 0.93 and 0.94 Okay, I think I think Doom Dutch again is an outlier, and if you remove it, the situation. Well, so if you remove it, we go down to so we have a we have an average of one point eight seven stats stats per fate, and if you remove Doom Dutch again, we go down to one point six five. Oh, so it's actually Dragon's still pretty good, even. Without yeah, we, we, we however aren't like we aren't just like one point five point one five ahead of in the next highest, which is Phoenix. Um, yeah. Phoenix is at one point six eight right now. Yeah, Phoenix has actually surprisingly high stats. You know, people don't think of them as that. crab. Well, so uh, just on just on raw stats, yes. The problem is the dishonor, the dishonored stuff. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The uh, their Phoenix's high glory is pretty negative. Okay, so what are we seeing here? It looks like uh, so that that ah oh, man, that Miramoto's fury. That Miramoto's fury really gives largeness more of a chance. I think that if Noman takes that conflict, he almost certainly has the game, since it would also give him the Imperial favor. Oh, yeah, yeah, so no, I, I, I'm not disagreeing that. I'm just I'm just saying they're... I, I like stats, right? Like, they're just cool. Uh, like, the the actual information... Oh, and so we see... We see no, or we see largeness flop his own shoju here. Although his own shoju will get coverted. Yeah, the problem is that uh, winning one... Conflict doesn't win the does not win the game here. Yeah. Um, oh, well, we see a black mount artist also from Larjan. Oh, you know what? Actually, can Nomen win by getting in UO? How would he get in UO though? By having showed you kill whoever could defend. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, Nomen has another Yojimbo. So, Only problem is that we know largeness has cloud the mind, and with that illusionist, he could play it on show. Oh yeah, 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 never mind. Cloud, 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 cloud the mind is uh, quite important. So we see black. Scene Lawrence. two. Uh, scene two. Imperial storehouses has to be pretty nice. For so no man, no man has no man has fate worse than death too. Does he have it in hand? Yeah, he hasn't played it yet. He's drawing two two extra cards. I think no one might might be able to win. You play Yojimbo Zero Fate. You Yojimbo Stealth Past the Illusionist and the Art Artist. No, no Art Artist Artist and the yeah Artist and the Illusionist. I think the Cloud the Mind is going to prevent him from winning this. I think that without that, he can just kill whoever uh, no, uh, Largeness can defend with. But with it, he's not going to be able to do a UL. Huh. I do think that, uh, man, I do think yeah. without that Miramoto's, uh, this game would be in the bag for Nomen. Really awkward position here. Yep. <clears throat> so Nomen has 10 cards in hand, but really only 8. Chris still has, let's, let's scroll up here and see what... So Crystal has add the shadows, two cloud the mines. He cloud, he could cloud the mind uh, a Yojimbo also if he, to not, to stop an unopposed to take away the covert. Mm. So it's adept double, double cloud and it, also you won't UO against uh, adept right because adept can can still be there with another character and Shoju can't kill them all. One two three cunning magistrate policy debate and a second Yojimbo. Yeah, so we actually know his entire hand minus the one unknown card that he drew this turn. No, no, so he does not win on air. If he if he if he steals. Oh no 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 wait wait he he wins on air right you so you so you, so no one uses box. Chris then is forced to use box and then air kills him. Oh no no he'll be at two. No he doesn't. Okay. Yeah yeah. No, I was like I, I was like I I, I thought. The box is probably just trade here. Chris Chris discards Kachiko because he doesn't have the fate to use her. So that was the unknown card. So Chris is actually going to see three cards also. Uh, where 
just like Noman, but he's just not going to actually keep keep three cards. Favor of Nice has, is the main thing that has kept Chris in this game. So the boxes are going to trade here. Well, Rega, if if Noma doesn't if Noma doesn't have Cloud, then he just dies. Like if Chris doesn't have Cloud, he he'll just die to show you. Largeness extremely needs to use his box to trade here, I think, because there's a risk that Noman could play another Bonsai, even if it's useless, to remove an honor. Yeah, like first action Bonsai. Yeah. yeah. I think that uh, even though it's kind of stupid to just, like, it's not what you really want to trade boxes like this, I think that Largeness absolutely does have to use it. Okay, so he Yeah, does. there it is. Okay. Not, yeah, not worth the risk. <clears throat> we could see oh man so Chris could find a mirror motosphere here and that would be also just just hor horrific against the, the, for these Yojimbos I'm just I don't know what I don't know what you mean oh yeah the rig is saying that no one could have calling in favors um yeah, Noman has access to two more calling in favors. We actually don't know what Noman's hand is. But Chris has double cloud the mind. But we're seeing we're seeing the attack here, so Yeah, this is gonna be the game. I, I'm a little, I'm a little shocked. At, this is how it's gonna go. Um, all right, here it comes. So Chris defends with both his characters. Wait, defending with the Yojimbo is really, really risky. If it somehow dies, it, uh... Then Chris will lose yeah. lose immediately uh, on the air conflict? He knows he has Cloud. He has two Clouds. Uh, right? Yeah, he, he has two Clouds. Soto, you covert the Nice because Illusionist... Ill Illusionist can remove the Dishonored status from the Nice and make it a 2-2 again. That's why you covert the Nice. Okay, yeah, this is actually also uh, a very relevant point here, is that if Noman can somehow clear Cloud the Mind... Oh, we see for largeness, shame? Largeness can counter by using his Soshi Illusionist. Does he have two for shames? Is he just doing this to increase the number of Dishonored characters? Again, the Soshi Illusionist can protect uh, Largeness, though. Yeah. Like, bowing is obviously I the right choice. I, I think... I think it's going to be. I'm not sure Noman has what it takes to win the to win this game, and I think there's a high chance that he'll be dishonored out himself this turn because I'm not. Well, so even if he I'm if he gains really... two firing, plus two two UOs kills him. Yeah, and we know that that added to shadows. Well, no, no, no uh, uh, he has a fate worse than death. Oh, okay, that's. Fine. Okay, so there we see the break. Uh, but the favored niece can have the dishonored discarded in his yeah. character. Yeah, I don't think this. I don't think this is gonna go no man's way. Right, and then you but, you can challenge Earth for your first one to grab the fate to play Edda twice. Yeah, maybe maybe largeness has some ploy, or maybe no man has some ploy. But I think that by default, uh, largeness. No man could have another skirmisher. It is true that if Noman somehow survives and Largeness doesn't gain any honor, no, he doesn't even lose though, because he has the social illusionist for safety. Yeah. Another skirmisher would be extremely, extremely relevant, but the Adept of Shadows would be. Well, there you could. You, so if 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 Chris goes. Oh, but he could fate worse than death. Yeah. So if Chris goes for Earth, if Chris goes for Earth and leaves fire on the table, also that's a possibility. Also, he can't redraw the Adept of Shadows because it will kill him. Yeah. So this is actually this is actually quite interesting. You know, the real question is what does Noman have in his hand? 
Well, he's, he, he doesn't have access to Miramoto's Furies, so there's, it's out of that. His only conflict character left in his deck is Hurum Skirmisher, and... He has two centers in his hand, so he's five cards. Yeah. We haven't seen them in a while, so... He, I know he has one Fate Worse Than Death. That, that's, that's literally the only card in his hand that I know. Mm. Alright, so we see Illusionist... This is so risky, right? So, th so this is Chris. Why do you Illusionist the Nice now, instead of just doing a political conflict with the Nice? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't understand this. Because you have a favor? Move. So this, this is so risky um, to being Dishonored. So if you just attack with the niece with with political favor, you don't risk anything. Yeah. You. Yeah, I think that I think that's actually a mistake. I think you have to. Um, I think you have to hold off that. Soshi Illusionist, by the way, is a strong and underrated card in my view. No, the card's sick. Illusionist. He wasn't able to break that shameful last time. So, okay, wait, wait this, a minute. Here. This isn't going to do wait, anything. Wait. This is just going to get his niece re, re dishonored. No, no, don't just dishonor the niece, man. Uh, dishonor the illusionist. Oh, and then fate worse than death the niece? Yeah. Because the illusionist is going to leave this turn, and you want to increase the amount of dishonor. Well, fate, fate worse than death on the niece also makes her leave. and it, Oh, you just don't want to dishonor her twice, that's fair. Yeah. And then he plays Adept, and then he doesn't have another conflict? Yeah, so actually, Noman might win. Wait, who's first rep. player? No! no Noman, Noman will lose. Why? It's fire, so no one's no one's a Yojimbo that's that's sitting oh, there. Oh, his dishonored character will leave first. Huh? Yeah, so no one needs to have his skirmisher. He needs to have his yeah, other no skirmisher. Yeah, no one needs a skirmisher. Okay, so he is going for the thing that. I Okay, if no one has the other skirmisher, that's so freaking hype. Yeah. So also he can just he can just have this break. I think, like he cannot play a fate worse than death. Well, then he just dies. Like, why does he, he die? Does, he, he, he takes an unopposed and goes to one, and then his uh, Yojimbo gets dishonored. Yeah, but that's going to happen anyway, right? What does the Fate Worse Than Death actually do? What What is it? It, make, it makes him play the Adept. Why? W w what do you mean? He, he has no strength. He has an illusion. Oh, it's a political yeah, favor. No, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought this was a military conflict. No. So, yeah, so, you, so yeah, Fate so Worse Than Death doesn't do anything. Yes. So, the question now is... Does Nomen have... Haruma Skirmisher. Yeah, so Haruma Skirmisher... Is, is the card that we need here. So Yeah, so he needs to play Haruma Skirmisher, attack, doesn't uh, but, matter what ring. Both players have been one potato salad. I Can Swim would also be hype, I, I agree. But uh, un unfortunately, both players have been one. Yeah, so he could do Haruma, Haruma Skirmisher. Skirmisher. Show it to me, Nomen. Show me the goods. Haruma Skirmisher attacks, Adept comes to defend and gets hit by Fate Worse Than Death, and Nomen wins with the UO. That's, that's what I see Yeah. Here. Or he has to not if, attack Pilgrimage, if, obviously. If there isn't a conflict character, Nomen loses by being the first player, unless he has reprieve. No, but you said he doesn't he have reprieve. reprieve. He has he has yeah. he has Watch Commander, two skirmishers, three three PFB. Ironically, he should have put a fate on. Oh, oh he, he has it! He has it! <laughs> that's the game, right? Like that's that's one hundred percent. Oh no no, Miramoto's Fury. Yeah, there are some things that could stop the skirmisher. It has to it has to be exactly Miramoto's Fury. We knew he didn't have another Miramoto's Fury earlier. Has Largeness managed to luck out again with that niece? Yeah. He still has one more. No, he discarded Magistrate and Kachigo. He's used the niece twice. This is it. No, no, no. Soldier token. No, um, uh, we know Noman has um, Fate Worse Than Death. So the, yeah. the Adept of Shadows will not be able to stop this UO. Wait, what? And oh, he attacks Pilgrimage. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't matter what he attacks. Wait, wait, there could be another Forest Edict from Largeness, couldn't there? Uh, yes. Yeah, because he, he, uh, he has that Honored Niece, so he has at least some option. We could see an Edict. For, no, no, Noman has an Edict, right? Yeah, Noman has a second... I think Noman actually has an Edict. Yes, yeah, so there's the Adaptive Okay, okay. Did he draw Edict? Because if he draw, drew Edict, that would be the third Edict. Oh, no, no, that would be his second. Okay. So he has a reasonable... Well, I don't know. We know he didn't have it. The question is just, what did he get? He doesn't have Miramoto's Fury, so there's that. Oh, wait, wait. No, he does have the there's Edict. There's the Edict, I think. Yeah. I think, yeah, we're seeing Edict, and I think that's going to be game. Mmm, man, that was so hype. That was so hype for two seconds. Yep, and Bonsai? Wait, wait, Bonsai? does not have... Uh, no, Bonsai doesn't even win, because it's yes. red. Do you need to get... Oh, you have to, you have to get UO. Mmm. It, it looks like Noman has unfortunately not seen his own Edict, so that's going to be the game. 
That was very, I, very unfortunate. It was a very fun game. I have to say, I think Noman made the mistakes at first and got into a very bad position. But for these last two turns, I honestly feel like Noman like played very well and just got unlucky. Mm, so yeah, yes, he did get unlucky, but he was in a he he put himself in a position for that to matter, right? Yeah, so I, I think no doubt there were some errors. I think the low bid on the policy debate on the first turn lost Noman a huge amount of momentum. And I think that the um I think that then he should have stood there and claimed the favor and that would have put him in a very favorable situation. Yeah. And um but I think that uh I think not doing that and put him in at a big downside. And later on though, I think he made excellent choices. Uh, he w he went for some risky plays that I think on average would have given him the win, mm -hmm. but there were those lucky draws with the very few cards Large just was getting from Nice. No, so uh, Soto Soto no one saw an edict. He he got it discarded by his own policy debate. Yeah, it, it, so I think turn one, if he had favor, he would have ha he had two censures, so he would have had his own edict still and double censure if if he had played turn one correctly. Yeah, so I think I think that Noman, uh, I think Noman was on the back foot after that first turn, but I also think uh, Largeness has to be really giving credit to that favored niece for saving him last turn, and maybe this turn also. We don't know exactly how he drew the stuff that he needed here. And that's gonna be the game. So, thanks again for everyone joining. Um, uh, my game will be played in uh, at 9 o'clock, actually, and so 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, we moved it back an hour just because I want to be able to cook dinner and walk my dog and stuff. Um, so, I think um, I think Kingsley is going to be casting that game. So, we'll post in the channel for everyone following. So, I'll be playing Goblin Guide in two, uh, an hour and 45 minutes. All right, until then, uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, thanks again. Put wow. Uh, <laughs> Large just says his niece draws were super bad. Wait, what? Uh, I'm just... Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to end the stream. Uh, I'll catch you guys later.